My name is Brian Crawford, um, middle management teacher in education. I'm now retired, uh, born in Scotland and lived in Scotland all my life till I retired. I've got to say, not uh, high class, we're just ordinary folk, ordinary people, and eventually, obviously helps with on, in, on retirement, but uh, able to actually invest and invest in the whisky industry. Became a client, my wife and I, uh, in March last year. And it was probably something that we had thought about for a long time. And we made an initial inquiry and it was better to think a London firm uh, and we came across BCL Mintners. Uh, a wee bit of research on that and we thought it was the best one to go for as an initial inquiry. And then from that initial inquiry we got a phone call from one of our brokers uh, and went from there. Initial investment and very shortly after that uh, a second investment. Uh, and just well, fairly recently in, in November, your head cask broker, Tommy, was on the phone and very persuasive, but also just wanted to see what we wanted to do. And we were just ready for another uh, investment of, of, of a couple of casks. So in total, I suppose we've got six casks now uh, as an investment. Well, it's probably a long, long story and it goes way back to our 20 years where we lived and worked in the Highlands. And at that time in Strathpeffer with one or two local people that we got to know quite well. And as you know, in the Highlands, you tend to drink more whiskey than elsewhere in, in Scotland. But uh, 1998, going as far back as that, but four or five years after we moved up there. And it was approaching the millennium. And of course up there at Tain, Glen Morangy, malt whiskey. So five of us, five men thought, let's invest in a barrel. However, it didn't work out like that, uh, unfortunately, because I wish we did at the time. Um, so the seed was there and later on, uh, after retired and after my wife has retired, then we sort of picked up that seed and decided to, yes, we can do it now. We've got some money for investment and we certainly thought it was a good investment, the whiskey casks. I've got to say the investment process with VCL Vintners was actually excellent. That's the only word I can use and our experience with it. Uh, from the initial investment and the phone calls and the information uh, from your staff uh, and it was friendly and not a hard sale. It was whatever we wanted and what was available and at what price we wanted to invest on, one, two barrels or whatever. Um, so the process of actually the first investment was very, very simple and easy uh, and obviously sucked subsequently second and third investments. But since then and since being a client, uh, we have uh, enjoyed the kind of contact with BCL Vintners with webinars, with whisky tasting events that you sign into uh, and get whisky to the house and uh, enjoy the programmes as well as uh, I've personally enjoyed the, the webinars where it's actually telling us more about the industry and the investment uh, percentages and profits and the way things are going. So that's, that's been very, very good. Well, I suppose in a way, whiskey investment 
you're dealing with a company, you're dealing with people, you've actually got a product that's sitting there in whiskey bonds. We haven't got yet around to getting a visit arranged to the bond to see our whiskey and maybe get some tapped off to, to try. Um, but that's, that's an adventure that we're going to be looking forward to. With a bank investment, uh, building society, uh, your money's sitting there and while it's working away, uh, perhaps the percentages are not as good as the projections with whiskey investment. But I think it's, it's the whole process. I mean, come on, really, somebody in Scotland, you know, their dream is actually owning a cask of whiskey. But uh, it is an investment, it's not to drink, really. <laughs> not fully. Well, I would have to say, go for it. If we had gone for it initially, all these years ago, 1998, obviously the cask would have been worth a tremendous amount of money. We're a bit later into it, obviously as retired uh, couple, and with perhaps more availability of funds than when we were younger. From what I can gather, really, you can invest whatever you want because you can get a first barrel, first cask barrel, and it isn't all that much, really, nowadays. Um, so, yes, I would say the quicker you actually invest, the better it will be much later on. Uh, we've got some barrels that are two years, uh, some ten years or so. So, in a way, the older barrels uh, will become an investment that will mature, if you like, when we sell and you arrange our sale. But the first run barrel cask, as you get older, you've really got to wait a lot younger to, for it to mature and then it will be worth definitely more. But I've got to say it's a great idea and it's given us an insight into the whisky industry as well as owning part of, you know, uh, with eight barrels. And it's uh, certainly an interest uh, with activity and adventure that we can actually follow.